Right, so let's say you're a sky skier in a mountain that represents a cost function plane for your parameters. As you're sliding down the slope, you want to make sure to stop at the lowest point, even if you have momentum. The skis you have have some amount of friction, so it's not like you can slide indefinitely. So if you see that the momentum you have bring you to a worse solution than before, you can make correction calculation about where you are and what, what to change during your course. So this analogy represents NADAM. The skier position in the mountain is the parameter's value. The momentum with friction and descent represent uh, ADAM optimization. And the look ahead to know when to change course is nested error of accelerated gradient. All of this behavior together represent uh, NADAM, which is the topic of today's video. We'll go through the formula before going uh, through a walkthrough of the code. If you want to check out the code, uh, check out the link in the description for the GitHub uh, notebook. In order to understand the modification Adam bring to Adam, we will take a step back and review what modification to momentum uh, the Nestor of Accelerated Gradient brings. Uh, if you can also check out the other tutorial I did on momentum to have more detailed explanation about what we're going through. So if we look at the parameters update in the momentum formula, um, it's simply the current value uh, of the parameter theta minus the momentum mt. The momentum weight the previous momentum with the new gradient direction for this update state. And the gradient step is calculated using or objective function j. Now this first part can be written in a more con condensed uh, format, which will help with um, the, some modification afterward. So this gives us the following uh, notation. If you look at what we are actually modifying, we have two different updates uh, represented in the image above as uh, the blue hours. So we have a small update which represents the momentum plus the uh, learning rate times the gradient, which is the big huge arrow. So let's now look at what Nestor of Accelerated Gradient brings to the momentum formula at a high level. Uh, if you want to go into the details, you can check out the other video. So the main idea of Nesterov is to look ahead before doing the update. So one way this can be achieved is by calculating the gradient on an approximation of what the ball um, or the parameter space will be in the next step. So this is um, the gradient is calculated using uh, the theta t minus uh, the momentum uh, times mt minus 1. So you see here we're missing the uh, learning rate and the, the, the current gradient, which we cannot calculate. So if we look at the update image, um, we have the brown uh, arrow plus the uh, red arrow. So the red arrow is exactly the same as the blue one, right? Um, it's the same, it's same vector, but because of this gradient that we're calculating on the next, where we should be in the next iteration, um, we get a bigger jump on the right direction and then we get a correction which will go into um, um, something that is a bit more uh, aligned to the uh, optimal uh, spot. So the previous formula can be rewritten as this. So uh, theta t minus uh, the momentum times mt plus uh, the, alpha, uh, the alpha learning rate times the gradient, which achieve uh, basically the same effect. Uh, but what we did here is subtle. We used uh, the momentum times mt instead of the momentum times t minus 1. So this achieved the look ahead and will be a trick we can use later on for Adam, which will make the whole um, Adam formula very easy to, uh, to calculate. So now we're going to go through how to modify Adam, which we see on the screen, uh, to incorporate Nesterov into uh, the formula. So if you want to go in depth into Adam, you can check out my previous video on it. I'm, I'm going fully in depth with this and there's code available too. So we get this big soup of, of formula, which we'll rewrite in order to uh, use the same trick we did with uh, the momentum. So we're just going to condense this into um, uh, one line. The first thing is to replace um, m hat t with the formula it composed. So this gives us this big parentheses. Uh, the zone of interest is really the, the left part because we can simplify it as being uh, simply uh, m hat t minus 1 as this is literally the definition of it. So at this point we are in a good shape to use the very simple trick 
we used with uh, Nesterov. So this is the trick I'm talking about. Instead of using um, the momentum times mt minus one, we use momentum times mt. Uh, and uh, this will be really simple. That's it. We, instead of having beta one m hat t minus one, we have beta one m hat t. Um, we just modify this and this will achieve the look ahead um, that Nesterov is providing within had um, uh, optimization. So that's it. There's there's absolutely nothing else. This this was the only change we had to make. Um, I went to the lengthy process of going to the momentum and then going a bit to Adam and Nesterov just so that we understand where this why we can just remove the uh, t minus one and replace it with t and it works. So let's now look at the Python, Python implementation of the optimizer uh, to better understand uh, how similar it is to Adam. Okay, so here we are um, in uh, the Jupyter Notebook. So it's available in the link in the description. Um, so it's the same setup as I did in all of these videos. So we have, a, uh, we have this simple formula. So a line, we have two parameters and we're trying to use those optimizer to um, find the best parameter giving some data points. I'm going to sh show you the test cases. So it's this one. So this is the X and the Y. So if it's the same, we were except expecting an intercept of zero and a slope of one. Here we have um, these two. Um, so intercept of zero, slope of two, because it's just like times two. And finally, we have intercept one and slope of two with um, these X's and these Y's. That's the idea. Um, so like I said, it's just line. So we made a, a line model um, that has a bunch of weights um, and can um, have those derivative function that we have over here. And then we can use derivate um, pretty simply. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, on this because it's not too important. It's just a, a line model that is uh, fairly simple. So since uh, all of these methods are uh, stochastic based, um, we're gonna sample like one, um, one uh, x's and y every time to do the optimization. Um, that's 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 about it um, for the setup. Uh, we can jump into the the Adam uh, model. So we have Adam over here. We have Adam over there after Nesterov, just over here. It's, it's very similar um, because like you've seen in the video, we just changed one thing and we're then we're able to um, to do the look ahead. Um, so we're gonna look at the, the input. So we have the model, which is line, the X is the Y's, and then we have the learning rate, which this is good enough. The beta, um, so this is what they, um, they say to use in the, in the, pa the original paper. We have the epsilon for um, the, a little error, error rate and then um, we have the maximum number of iteration of how long we're going to do uh, the, the little step um, so the epsilon is just for numerical stability that's it so um, that's pretty much that we have our m our v's and our um, gradient if you look at the formula again right so this is the formula so we have our m's um, which are uh, these and then we have uh, the V's which are over here. So um, V hat, um, it's not shown here what V hat actually is because it's a, it's another optimization that we do. Um, it, it's another um, formula that we have in Adam, um, but uh, we're gonna calculate this is just a bias corrected V um, like the M over here, which is also bias corrected. So that's it, this is the learning rate. Um, those are our beta one and beta two is inside over here. Perfect. So um, we're gonna store these because we're gonna use them um, for the next uh, for uh, every time for the next iteration. Uh, so we need to keep them uh, in, in memory. We don't need to keep a lot of them. We just need to keep the previous um, one in order to know um, how to calculate the, the next one. So uh, we're gonna repeat this t times, which is the maximum maximum number of iteration. The first thing we do is calculate uh, the gradient by getting the um, a stochastic sample from the x's and the y's, so we take weight replacement. 
Um, and then we're going to get the partial derivative of um, our line model with this x and with this y and that will give us our um, uh, a gradient um, and this is an array right so remember this is uh, an array so this is that step and then we update the m and the v parameters um, so they, they, it's fairly similar because it's like a, um, a running a mean that we're doing on the m's um, and the v's uh, so we have beta 1 over here that is controlling this running mean 1 plus 1 minus uh, beta 1 times uh, the gradient um, so the v is similar except that we have um, the gradient exponent 2 that's pretty much that for this yeah, so then uh, we bias correct um, for the m and the v's using this um, this formula this is the same thing as Adam so here we're using the we're doing the um, this is like the a bundled version of the nestor of accelerated um, uh, gradient um, step um, so uh, instead of doing the uh, b1 times the the m corrected at t minus 1 so using the previous one we use the current one that we just calculated uh, right over here uh, plus the rest of the the big parentheses that we saw so uh, what I'm talking about is instead of doing this right with um, plus this this whole thing we're doing this so we're, we just drop the t minus 1 so we're using the current one that we just calculated and that's it once we have the this gradient um, the nestor of accelerated gradient um, we we're just gonna update it so we have theta minus the learning rate divided by um, the square root of the v corrected plus epsilon times um, this big parentheses which we calculated previously and we put it over here and we do that for every weight so this is why you see this list comprehension over there um, we do that we iterate on the weights the v corrected and then the nestor of accelerated gradient um, gradient and that's it then we we just um, update the weights and we iterate until um, till the max number of iteration so if we look at if this thing is working this is not them let's run this so we're supposed to get intercept zero and slope of one and we're actually pretty good right off the bat after 100 step uh, but if we look over there we're, we we pretty much get it um, same thing for slope of zero uh, intercept of zero and slope of two and similarly for this one it's a bit um, simplistic here because this is used and that is used for um, deep learning uh, deep, deep neural network uh, but um, this is just for uh, to show that uh, the optimizer is actually doing something so that's it so that's it for today's video I hope that uh, this was useful if you have comments or questions you can uh, leave them down below and like always have a great week